All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash, Lab Lam Yam. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach them well in these last days and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I'm going to give a strong Shalom to all the Akim on the four corners of the earth, pressing this word of truth and sincerity, uh, making the call and election sure. And I want to give a humble citation to the hope for the elect, tuning in on the four corners of the earth, where we have to may be at. This is Brother Mashal. Uh, coming back at you with a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahab Bashim Yashai. I want to say the Wadi Yahab Bashim Yashai for giving me the spirit and having the mercy to allow me to do this lesson. And um, I'm going to title this lesson, um, The Lessons of Life. You know, um, you know, we've been have, we've been given the opportunity um, to understand where we fell off at, you know, when we were in the world. You know, when we uh, were doing the things that we thought were the right things to do, you know, but now we've, uh, you know, like the story of, about Paul being knocked off his horse, you know, we, we all had that, that moment, man, being knocked off our horse, man, you know, so now we understand that those those uh, chastisements were part of the lessons of life that we had to go through um, to, in order to get to this point, you know, everything that we've uh, um, done uh, since we were born has gotten up to this point. You know, so we have to understand and accept all the the, the wrong and the the um, the uh, the evil that we were we were doing. You know, and and you know, in our past life, man, before we before we came into this truth. You know, so everything is a lesson of life. So we're gonna start with um, uh, Second Timothy uh, three, and we're gonna jump to verse sixteen. Uh, it said, 2 Timothy 3 and 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Heavenly Father and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the Heavenly Father may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So these scriptures and this doctrine uh, will make a man perfect, you know, because it's uh, this is profitable for, uh, for doctrine, for reproof, and for correction, man. And instruction, uh, because um, what's that? Um, uh, so refuse. See, uh, Proverbs 8 and 33 says, Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. You see, so we have these instructions that, that's been given to us by Yahweh Bashi and uh and, and the, uh, the, the elect are going to be wise and refuse it not. You know, so we have to, uh, you know, thank the Heavenly Father for the good graces that, he's, that, he's, that, he, that he showed us because when you go to Lamentations real quick, uh, Lamentations um, 3. I think it's 3. Um, yeah, Lamentations 3 and 22. It says, uh, It is of the of, it is of Yahweh Bashi mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. You see, so it's it's uh, it's Yahweh Bashi Mashah's mercy, man, that we're not consumed, man. You know, so we we went through all these chastisements, all these maybe brothers and sisters may have been uh, you know in near death situations, or what what have you. You know, but those are all lessons of life to get us to this point where we understand that we had to be chastised to seek to seek the true power. You know, we have we had to uh, go through those things in order for us to to understand that we need Yahweh um, Bashim to get through this to uh, to get through this man. So it's of Yahweh Bashim Yashai's mercies that we are not consumed, because the compassions fail not. You know, so this is um, the mercy that the long suffering that Yahweh has to send us the only begotten Son Yahweh Shai to uh, to 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 beg on our pardon, man, uh, for 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 our short, our shortcomings. Um, let's go to um, Romans uh, fifteen and four. Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So we understand how our forefathers went off, you know, because those are the things that were written aforetime, were written for, uh, and they were written for our learning. 
you know? So these are the the, uh, the, the lessons of life. That's why the scriptures say in Job 8 and 8, um, let's go, you know, let's go ahead and get it. It says, for I, for inquire, I pray thee, the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So we, we're, uh, we're supposed to acknowledge the old ways and search for the old paths. Like it says in uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 6, you know, we're supposed to search out the ways of our fathers, you know, and, and understand what they did wrong, what they did right. And we understand that, you know, a lot, a lot of times the things that we did wrong was, was out of worship, you know. And with the things that we did right was, uh, you know, the things that we did right was coming back to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You know, um, let's go to Isaiah uh, 30. Uh, let's start at verse... Let's start at verse 18. And therefore, where, where Yahweh Bashemah shall wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore he will be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. See, so Yahweh Bashemah is having mercy upon us. You know, that's that's why we're not consumed. You know, and we even though we're chastised, we've always, the Yahweh Bashemah always gives us a, a way out. It says, for Yahweh Bashemah is a power of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Because in, in, in Apocrypha, in, in Sirach chapter 2, it says, well, Woe unto him that uh, that lose patience, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, verse 19, For the people shall dwell in, uh, in Zion, not Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord, see, here we go. And, the, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, you see, so we're in adversity right now. The, we're in the, our proven process, man, our lessons of life. It says, in the water of affliction, and we're going to look up these words. It says, yeah, not, uh, I'm going to slap you. What's wrong, man? Um, okay. I can't even figure out the game. I just picked one player and All right, well, then turn it off. I'm busy. I just told you that, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Uh, slap you. So, um, so, so the Yahweh Bashim Hashem has given us the bread of adversity and the water of, of affliction to prove us, you know, to to make us understand that these are the lessons of life to purify us to get to that to uh to the end because we want to be as uh, as as uh, purified as possible um, when 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 um, when this when uh, Esau really comes down with that great wrath. It says, "Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more." But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and our teachers are, are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. The ones that's that's uh that that gives us that 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 pure water, man. That that alkaline water, you know, that hundred percent doctrine, man. It says, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, "This is the way; walk ye in it." When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left, you see. So we we came out of wickedness, you know, and we heard and we heard what how, how, however we came into this thing. You know what I'm saying? How, how, whatever, whatever avenues and, and nooks and crannies you came to to, uh, to come into this, we're here now. You know, so we was in wickedness, man. We was dwelling in wickedness and and, uh, and sin and iniquity. You know what I'm saying? But we heard that voice. You know, saying this is the way walk you in it. No matter how, however you came into with IUIC or IHBK, you know, now you understand that now that the Most High uses men to get you where he needs to go so now now we understand that we're israelites now we have the now the yahweh bashim puts the elders of great millstone in our life to give us the 100 percent doctrine no matter how you came in you could came in through gocc um uh fopi what i mean whatever wh whatever uh you know camps or whatever you know but now we had we had to go through all of that wickedness to understand that the, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone have that 100% doctrine that we need for salvation. So these are the teachers that are, are telling us uh, what we need to hear, that word behind me. This, this is the way, walk ye in it. You know, not when well, you can take them, you can take the RFD microchip, you can take the vaccines. We don't know. That's, that's a, uh, that's a, 
um, a preacher pre, uh, filling his own belly, man. You know, in uh, Romans um, 16, it's, it tells you to separate from those people that, that fill their own belly. You see, so we had to go through these different camps, you know, uh, to, to get to the to the true to the true doctrine that's going to give us salvation. Um, let's go to. Uh, let's go to Iraq real quick, eight and five. It says, reproach not a man that turneth from sin, but remember that we are all worthy of punishment. You see? So we're all worthy of punishment. Why? Because we've all we've all been dwelling in wickedness, man. We've all been down that 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 deep, dark path. You know, we had to go, we had to go through that, you know what I'm saying, to get to where we need to get to. For us to appreciate, um, for us to appreciate the things that we know now. You know, so we're all worthy of punishment. The only reason we're not being punished is because the the, the mercy that Yahweh Yahweh Yahu has by sending sending uh, Yahweh Shai to to die for our sins, man. You know, so we, from from the least to the greatest, we're all worthy of punishment. You know, but now since we had that leeway, now what are we going to do with it? Are we still going to continue to uh to to uh to continue to dwell uh, wickedly? Or are we going to turn? And understand that these lessons of life are are, 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 what, are what's needed in order for us to um, to prosper. You know what? Let's go to um, Second Ezra uh, seven, and I think it's verse seven six. It says Second Ezra seven verse six says. Another thing, a city is built and is set upon a broad field and is full of and is full of all good things. So this city is the kingdom of heaven, and it's, it's set upon a broad field, you know, because it's, it's the Father's good pl uh, pleasure to give you the kingdom, like it says in uh, in Luke twelve, and it says and it's full of good things, right? And it says the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like if like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water because this is not for everybody you know many are called but few are chosen you know what i'm saying two-thirds are going to perish you know um and the righteous are going to be uh brought through the fire you know like it says in zechariah 13 you know you have um you know many scriptures that 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 that, that tell you the 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 ways to to um to get to the kingdom of heaven, you know, John ten, John ten and one says, any that come up uh, any any way is is uh, any other way is, is the same the same as a thief and a robber, you know. So we're gonna have to go through these dangerous, uh, you know, um, life lessons, you know, to get to this to this uh, kingdom of heaven. Uh, verse eight, and only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could be what one man. There could but one man go there at once. That's 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 a tight that's a tight place. It says, if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? See, so we had to pass the danger. We had to go through these life lessons, you know, to appreciate the things that's going to come. You know, we had to be purified, man. We're we're still in that purification stage right now, but we have to go through the through this danger that's set before us in order for, to receive the kingdom of heaven. These are the life lessons that we had to go through. That's imperative that we had to go through. You know, and that's the problem with uh, with two thirds of our people because they think that a lot of this stuff is going to be um, handed on a silver platter, man. It's, it's not going to happen that way. Um, let's go to... Uh, Psalms 19. It says, let's see who I'm starting. 
we'll start at verse 7. It says, uh, The law of Yahweh Bashim is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahweh Bashim is sure, making wise the simple. You see? So we've we've been we've been we thought that uh you know um you know we were wise with the wisdom of the world you know that's why the, that's why the scripture says in uh first uh was that first Corinthians yeah first Corinthians three it says that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the heavenly Father you know so we were we were wise in this world but we were made simple by understanding. The law and the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yashah because it's perfection, man. They converted our soul. Now we understand. Now we understand the things that we need to understand, man. You know about walking uprightly, trying to do the things that we can, but we still have liberty to do so. We have been made. We have been brought down to be built back up again. That's the part of what Yahweh Shah told uh, Nicodemus. You know, you have to be reborn again. We come back as a, a, a newborn babe. And let's go to uh, uh, Psalms 119. And verse 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to uh, 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 thereto according to thy word. So let's look up that word um, he, he. Strong's H, 8104. Shamad. Shamad. Okay, so some of the synonyms or uh, other words that's used for this, this Strong's H, 8104. Um, keep, observe, he, keeper, preserve, beware, mark, watchman, wait, watch, regard, save. You see, so we're supposed to, uh, so it's to, to keep, to guard, to observe, to give heed. You know, to be on one's guard, take heed, take care, beware. You see, so we take where, uh, let's see, anything else to be circumspect. Let's see, uh, look narrowly, observe, preserve, regard. You see. See, so you take you you, you, uh, you when you take heed to the word, you uh, you regard the word, man. You 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 hold it close, man. You you uh, you do it, you know. And when you jump down to um, I think it's one. Yeah, kind of. Uh, Psalms one nineteen and one hundred three. How sweet are thy words unto my taste? Yea, sweeter than honey to my uh, to my mouth. So we yeah, man. The elect are gonna be. Let me turn this light on real quick, Slacky. So, so this, this, um, so the elect are gonna, are gonna, uh, these words are sweet to the elect's mouth. You know, it's not gonna be no bucking up against nothing. This man. You know, it's either all or nothing. It's not one foot in and one foot out. That's being lukewarm. We already know what Yahweh Shai said about being lukewarm. You know, so the, the words are sweet unto, 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 unto my taste, man. Yeah, it's sweeter than honey to my mouth. Verse one hundred four. Uh, though, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So, through the precepts, man, through the uh, understanding of the, of the doctrine, you know, uh, that you get understanding. You know, understanding about why we're going through these life lessons. You know? And it says, therefore, I, ha I hate every false way. So, we, so the elect are going to live their life through the precepts. Because through the precepts, you get understanding of what, about what's going on. Um, let's go to Proverbs uh, 6 and 23, because the law is like, is, is like a, a lamp to our, uh, our feet, you know, for the command of uh, Proverbs 6 and 23, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. See, reproofs of instruction. See, remember, uh, um, in 2 Timothy, it said that, um, that the, this doctrine is, is, um, is for instruction, man. You know, and if you refuse instruction, you're not wise. You see? 
So this commandment is a lamp, man, a guide, man. You know, a lamp and, a, and the law is light. This whole doctrine is, is for us to see in, in wickedness, man, see in darkness. Because we are in the valley of the shadow of death, man. And, the, and, and death is, is equal to darkness. Let's go to um, Proverbs 15 and um, uh, and verse 10, it says, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. So correction is, 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 is hard for him that forsaketh the way. Man, that's why the, the scriptures say in Proverbs that, um, you know, if... Uh, if you, you know, um, you know, uh, leave the way of understanding, you know, um, basically, you, you know, roughly paraphrasing, uh, shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. You know, because correction is grievous unto him that forsake of the way. It's easy to forsake the way, man, by doing what you think is right. You know, we thought we do, we knew what we was doing right. You know, we, we, we came from, you know, being a Muslim and being, um, you know, uh, Egyptians and, uh, you know, um, being um, lesbians and you know uh, all that, you know, but we we but but we got correction, you know, and we understood and we heard it, you know, and the things that the 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 things and uh, the lows that we were going against are are uh, the lows that what was happening to us while we were in in the world, you know, was a life lesson, man. All that had to happen in order for us to in order for us to understand why it happened in order for us to understand and appreciate the things that we have right now, which is the truth, you know, which is a way out. It says, correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Let's look at that word reproof. Strong's H8433. Tochecha, Tochecha, and second entry, Tochacheth, Tochacheth. So, um, it says, reproof is a rebuke, re, seems like a rebuke, correction, reproof, punishment, chastisement. So, Yahab is, is, is has been chastising us to, uh, 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 for us to understand that without without Yahab Shai, we, uh, we're, we're nothing, man. You know, without this, without this doctrine, we're we're walking uh, missile food, man. You know, so we need this. We need to be reproved. We need to be chastised. And this is what the scriptures. This is this is what the scriptures do, man. It holds a mirror to you, and it, and allows you to see if you if you're walking uh, uh correctly or not, man. If you're walking uprightly or not. You know, that's why a lot of these people they read the Bible and they they come into. You know, especially in, like in the Christian church, they, they do whatever they want to do, yada, yada, yada. But you, you even got some people in the truth that uh, that don't like rebuke, man. You know, don't like uh, correction. And that, those are the things that we need to, uh, you know, um, kind of uh, reel in. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is, is uh, about rebuke and correction. Even, even your house shot was rebuke, man. You know when when he uh when he was um when he asked you how about uh when he when he asked you how to uh you know pass his cup you know you how said man hey man hey he didn't even answer him you know what I'm saying because he was being corrected man because you how knew what 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 he needed to do you know and that, and and that, and that gave him strength to keep on going because he knew what he had to do that was his lesson of life. Um, let's go to, uh, X 14 and 22. It says confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. See, continue in the faith through all these, these life lessons that we're going through, through the chastisement of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, we're supposed to continue in the faith. Stay strong. Understand that through these clouds that we may have on this side, we're going to have, uh, you know, eternal sunshine, man, on the other side. It says, and that 
uh, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. So through much tribulation, man, we're going to enter into, into the kingdom. You know, most people think it's a, a walk in the park, man. Christians believe that they can just, you know, believe on the name of Jesus Christ and and, and hop, hop, skip, and jump right into the kingdom of heaven, man. It's not it's, it's not like that, man. Through much tribulation, man. And what what is that much tribulation? Is by by keeping the laws that you command you, uh, slack you. It's keeping the laws that you commandments and continuing in the faith in the face of adversity. You know, and right now we're having these uh these lessons right now to 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 build up to build our uh our spiritual strength up. So now when Esau really comes down, you know, with these dr uh, draconian laws, you know, and um the the R for D microchip. You know, we're going to be built up, man. That's what this chastisement is for, man. You know, when you, uh, you know how like, okay, when, uh, like kickboxers, you know, kickboxers, they'll, you know, they'll kick, they'll, they'll keep kicking like, like trees or something like that. And what does that do? That, that kind of shaves off like bone marrow. And what happens is when that bone marrow grows back, it, it grows back stronger. That's why they can kick bricks and stuff like that, and they, they don't even flinch because of all that training. That's what we're doing. We're going through training, man. These lessons, these lessons of life are 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 training, you know. And we're 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 being uh, torn down, you know. what I'm saying in order for, for and we're being built back up through Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to make us even stronger because we're gonna need this faith, man. In the in the, in the time of adversity, this faith is gonna be all we're gonna have. And, it's not, and nothing else is gonna is, is gonna save us. You see, so we have to build our spiritual uh, our spiritual faith up first, you know, because that's 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 what's gonna, that's what's gonna be needed in a time of uh, in a time of adversity, man. Um, Isaiah five, because um, it says. Um, in verse 13, it says, therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. You see the knowledge. What's the knowledge of this, of the doctrine, you know? So we've, we've been going through these captivities because we have no knowledge of the doctrine, what we need to do, the faith that we need to have. But what, but what is it, what is it now though? Now we understand we went through those life lessons in the past to get us to this point. Now we understand like, yo man, yo, if I, if I keep being poor, Man, I'm a, you know, I'm, you know, the Most High is not a respecter of persons, man. So anything can happen. You know, we can, you know, uh, we've been going through these captivities because we have, we, we, we didn't have the knowledge. You know, but now through the, through the knowledge and the understanding that we understand that these life lessons are, are here to chastise us, to, to, um, to put us through the, uh, the, the fiery furnace, the refining process. This, this is what we need, man. You know, because when you, when you, uh, purify when you put gold in the fire it, it purifies it and we are the most highest uh gold and precious jewels right and it says and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst you see so we we have um what we need now to understand that yo we it, it's all good man you know if i lose my job it's all good because why because i have that faith you know what i'm saying if my if my wife turn on me, I'm good. Why? Because I have that faith, and I know that everything has already been declared from the beginning, like it says in Isaiah 46. You know, so we know what we need to know. Now we're not we're not going into more captivity. Why? Because uh, the tabernacle of David is being risen in these last days. This is the last captivity. You know, so we we gotta uh, you know understand the 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 um the lessons that we need, and last precept. Um, uh, Baruch 4 and 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Heavenly Father, being so, being returned, seek him ten times more. You see, so now we're, we're seeking the Yahweh Bashim a, a complete amount of times, more than what we did before. Why? Because we understand the lessons of life and we that we need Yahweh Bashim man.
it's no other way around. It's no other way around it. You know what? John 10. It says, "Verily, ver let's you know what." Yahweh Shah's words, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So we're going to have to go through these, uh, this chastisement, we're going to have to go through these uh, life lessons in order to get to the kingdom of heaven, man. We don't want ours on this side, man. That's the word, that's the last thing we want, is for our for us to have ours on this side, man. That's why the scriptures say, um, uh, Proverbs, uh, 30, and I think it's like verse, yeah, 8, it says, remove, uh, Proverbs 30 and 8, it says, remove far from me vanity and lies, give me neither poverty nor riches, feed me with food convenient for me, you see, so these, this food is the, 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 the things that we need to get the hell up out of here, man, not, 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 um, not riches, you know, we don't need, we don't need money on this side, man. You know, we don't need to be poor and we don't need riches, man. Just give, just give me enough to get me the hell up out of here, man. That's what we should be praying for. So these are the life lessons that we had to understand. So that way we, we don't, we know that we don't, we don't need riches, you know, uh, you know, money with our precious face on it or poverty, man, because poverty is not a part of our, our uh, culture, man. All right, so with that, uh, most high willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Chachachodash, double honor to the elder apostle, Great Millstone. I want to say, Ababa Ball, Kwame Sharala, Shalom.